Hello ladies, it's Penny here. Um, I think this is going to be my last video for this year. It's gone so quick, it really has. That's the beauty of crafting. Right, the first thing I wanted to show you was, I'm, I've been still trying to learn how to do some polymer clay and my son wanted something and then of course Chloe granddaughter wanted something so I hope Lynn's Crafts Lynn's who lives in Texas is pleased with me that I've I'm still you <laughs> I'm still doing some um, polymer clay now it's my first attempt at anything this big or, or like this I think we can all see who it is it's Olaf from Frozen. Now to do something this big, what I did, well I had a bit of trouble with, I used tin foil underneath, otherwise you'd use too much um, polymer clay. So I used, um, as I say, tin foil scrunched up into the shape and then shape your white polymer clay around it. Now this is where I had problems using so much white polymer clay. It got very dirty. I tried to keep my little area clean but it got very dirty and I didn't want to just paint it. It takes something off it so what I did was I just glittered it heavily and then I used um, triple, it's not that one, what is it? It's triple coat or triple text triple thick, here it is, Americana triple thick brush on gloss glaze and it is shiny, very shiny. Now before I was able to glaze it and glitter it, Chloe came in and she broke a little bit of his head away here, his, his uh, I don't know, is his hair or whatever it is there. So I was going to make another one. And I haven't, but I thought, well, she'll, um, she'll remember to be careful with them. <laughs> I know, I just, I never got round to it. Anyway, the only thing I'm not glossed, I tried to be very careful not to put much gloss on his teeth. I didn't think it'd look right. So, that's Olaf. And I've signed the bottom to her, so I hope she likes that. And it started off because... My son, I don't know how clever he thinks I am, he wanted a snowman. And I've never done anything this big, as you know, I do little things like um, little bits of ornament I've done. Yeah, you know, that's about the biggest I've ever done is something like that. And them little pies and things. So, this one again. Um, I used a tin foil scrunched up and then I was going to do some arms and that went wrong and I did struggle a bit with this one but anyway this is it now I'm not doing any more it's finished but even that I've noticed there's a hair there and that's a little bit of tin foil coming through but it'd be dirty if he was out in the snow wouldn't it that's what I say so I'm quite proud of the hat. I made the hat from polymer clay naturally and the um, berries and holly and uh, I think it's come out of good shape actually that hat. I quite like that. And they'll have to be careful of the noses because they will snap off. So and I've signed the back for um, Lee as well. So that's my two polymer clays. I'm hoping to do a lot more in my polymer clay uh, next year. Looking forward to that. Right, I'll just put these over here, ladies. Oh, be a second. There we go. Now, I was watching Betsy Doodle, OD, and she was doing a fun thing. Um, making heads i think it, the idea came from sharon green and it was close your eyes and pay, 
draw some faces and then paint them or do something with them. So, I thought, well, that sounds like fun, especially when you're a bit down. So that was my first one. Now, I, you're going to say, well, it's not bad pen, that, actually. But, well, I might, you know how you do, you draw the face and then I might have just kind of, had, I did have my eyes closed, but it did come out very well, that one. But as I say, I might have felt around where I'd drawn, so I guessed where the mouth in that was. The next one, I tried not to do that, and she ended up with a pumpkin head. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'll make it into a bun. She reminds me of that film with, um, who is it, Sylvester Stallone, is it? And uh, he bursts out as a woman. So she had similar features to that. It reminds me of that film. So I've tried to name them all, my girls. Drawn with eyes shut, the girl with the with the eyes wide open, because they are. <laughs> and this is the girl with the golden earrings. And then I was just messing with um, some of my sprays. And this one, she ended up with a funny head, so I ended up putting a hat on her. And this is the girl with the brown hat. So I put some flowers in and an earring. And uh, I, actually, <laughs> they're very similar to what I do with my eyes open. <laughs> Not much better than that anyway. So, oh, and that's my newest one. I thought, well, I'll do two sideways on. So, of course, this one's going to be talking heads or something. Yeah, talking to heads. So, it, it's still in progress, this one. <laughs> so, I've had a lot of fun doing that. Thank you, Betsy D. And uh, I'll do some more. They're great to do at night, then. When I can't sleep, I end up doing them. What was next was I doing? I've not done decoupage for a long time. And then I was watching Kelly. Kelly Cosgrove. Fuller, Fuller Cosgrove, Cos, Cos, Cosgrove in uh, America and she was doing something like this you know how fragile um, napkins are well putting them down on the uh, what do you call it grease food paper and then putting your oh, you know what it is don't you um, I can't find it oh, it's big enough Mud Podge. Now this one, now I've only got shiny in. I could do with something being some a little less shiny, but this is all I've got in at the moment. And then you just paint it on your... Oh, good girls, give me help. Um, wax paper. And then it just peels off. Look, I've not peeled them all off just to show you how easy it is. Look. Brilliant. This one got a hole in it before, but it didn't matter. And I mean, and because the covered, I'm sure uh, somebody said you're able to colour them in as well. After, if you want, you know, you can uh, put a bit of paint on them. So I did that one. Oh, now I've torn that one, ladies, because I'm rushing. And I'll tell you why, because I think there's somebody at my door. I'm going to have to put this up and, cl and close if it comes to the door. I've just seen a big van come up. Oh, I did rip it. Never mind. So that's that one. It's a lovely minakin, that one, isn't it? Is it the right way up? No, that's the right way up, isn't it? Hummingbird and a, a butterfly. But I still use that. didn't matter about that. So, so that was a brilliant idea. And I do thank you, Callie, for that. Super idea. So then I did a bit more. I need a box to put a Prezi in, a necklace. So this was a soap box. So I painted it like very, very pale lilac, stamped it with, um, it's a word stamp, and then I've decoupaged bits of napkin around it. It still needs a couple of layers of Mod Podge, but it's going to be shinier than what I'd like it, but, but never mind. It's getting there anyway. So... That's my attempt. I've said I've not. I've not. Um, it all wants tidying up. It's in progress. This box. So that's my bit of 
um, decoupage I've been doing. Now at the same time we're doing what Callie was doing, I saw somebody else and they were doing napkins on paper. And that looks quite effective. Um, no, it's the wrong way up. You can still see the words or the pattern, whatever it is, through the paper. I love this one. Now, this one was a map. And I put them to children. You know the kissing children? You see them on some kind of napkins. So I cut around them, or tore around them, I should say, so it's not a very straight edge. And then, and you can see the, you can still see the map, but you can actually see the children as well. I think that's a beautiful effect. And there's one I just did the um, flowers on. So if you cut around that, which will be easier now because it's got Mod Podge on it, um, it makes a nice addition to cards or mixed media or anything else. And that's the last one. So. Thank you very much for watching ladies and I hope to, hope to have all your company again next year. can't believe it, Friday is going to be Christmas. No way, we were very busy last night, um, This not last night, what day is it, Monday, yeah yesterday, made loads of pate because where I'm going for Christmas dinner which is my son's mother-in-law, Jane and um, the whole family like homemade pate and I've not made it for a couple of years so with, with Arthur's help I managed to make quite a lot yesterday so I'm pleased about that um, I'm going down to have some lunch because in a couple of hours I've got visitors Master Adam and Miss Chloe who are staying the night and then I've got them all day tomorrow so I've been trying to tidy up the craft room just a little bit, um, mainly so they'll have somewhere to to sleep tonight. <laughs> My Adam usually sleeps now on the city, he's getting older. Um, these were a couple more of them napkins I did. So this is my index card set and I more or less did the same thing, I coloured it with, uh, what do you call them, ink tank blocks. Just smeared colours over and wet it. Then stamped it and then put a piece of a napkin on it. And I'm going to go over it. Um, I'm not sure how yet, but I want to do that. Now that one didn't turn out so good. It had a lady on the back. A print of a lady. And it's not come through because I didn't do her deep enough. And this is too too busy too busy and, and dark went on top so but I'll turn it into something else so that's it ladies have a lovely lovely Christmas and all the best for the new year and I think I've said everything now and it's um I thank all of my subbies and I and I really thank you for looking at my amateur stuff and commenting on it and encouraging me because that's what we all need and um, I feel like I've made some really really nice friends I'm going to get emotional if I say that again so thank you very much ladies bye for now <laughs>